Hey guys, so a bunch of you recently have requested that I do a what I eat in a day type of video. So that is what I'm going to be doing with you guys today. I'm just going to be doing it vlog style and kind of just showing you guys what I eat as I eat it on a typical day. I'm not on a diet or anything like that. I just like to eat, you know, pretty healthy and have a healthy lifestyle um, while also still like enjoying my food. You know, I like to eat stuff that I enjoy rather than, you know, just to eat it um, to survive. <laughs> so I like to, you know, as I said, be as healthy as possible while still enjoying what I do eat. Um, I'm not a dietitian or anything like that. Literally just showing you guys what works for me. I have been losing weight while eating this way. Um, once I get to kind of like a goal weight or so, I'll probably add a couple more calories, but not that much because I really never feel hungry. I pretty much am full by the amount of calories and the stuff that I do eat per day. I do try and um, follow my macro, so I don't like to eat more than 1,300 calories per day. And then as far as like macronutrients go, I never will go over 130 grams of carbs, um, 45 grams of fat, and I like to hit about 90 grams of protein, if at all possible, um, for the day. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead today, throughout the day, and show you guys what I'm eating, what I'm eating it, and you know, for what meal it is, and everything else like that. So if you guys wanna see what I eat, then please just keep watching. All right, guys, so every day I literally eat the same thing for breakfast. Like, I would say in a 30-day month, I probably eat this at least 28 times in that month for breakfast. So what I like to do is have two of these Quaker caramel corn um, little rice cakes. These are so, so good. They're gluten-free, um, and they only have 50 calories each. So I have two of these, and then I top them with this Jif's whipped peanut butter. This is just the normal version they do have like a bunch of flavored ones but this one's just the normal like peanut butter version and i absolutely love this um because it's very low in calories for peanut butter it only has um 140 calories for two tablespoons compared to typical peanut butter which has like 210. it does have a slightly different consistency since it is you know whipped peanut butter which is why it does have the less calories but um, taste wise it tastes exactly the same as normal peanut butter which i love because i've tried a bunch of you know other different lower calorie peanut butters and I find they never really taste like real peanut butter does, but this tastes exactly like real peanut butter. Like literally you cannot tell the difference. So this is amazing. So I always use this to top them. So I use about two tablespoons, which is the serving size for this. So in total, in total my breakfast is about 240 calories. It is um, decently high in carb just because I like to have the most amount of carbs at breakfast time. So you have the rest of the day to burn them off and everything and to have fuel for the day. So I'm going to go ahead and take two of these out and top them with my whipped peanut butter and I will be right back. Okay, so this is what they look like when they're all prepared. You guys can tell I really don't gob the peanut butter on at all, just enough to coat the top and to give, you know, something a little extra to the rice cake so they can be a little plain without it. Um, but yeah, this actually keeps me really, really filled throughout the day, so I love to start off the day with this because a lot of times there is a big gap of time between when I eat breakfast and when I eat lunch. I tend to eat late lunch most days, um, so I need something that's gonna fill me up for the majority of the day, so that's why I go with these. I absolutely love them. And always with my breakfast, I will have a big coffee cup filled with black coffee. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill my coffee cup up with black coffee. And then on days when I'm feeling a little adventurous, even though I do do this most days now, I will go and put in this unsweetened almond milk. I love this from Almond Breeze. This is their vanilla flavored unsweetened almond milk and it only has 30 calories for a whole cup. I put in, I would say about a fourth of a cup or so. I mean, you can really put in a whole cup again because it's only 30 calories, but I love this. It just adds a little something to the black coffee. Um, but you know nothing like super sugary or overpowering or anything like that So I love to add that to my coffee as well. So I'll go ahead and Add that to my coffee. All right guys. So this is my mid-afternoon snack I'm having one of these little individual bags of boom chicka pop. This is their sea salt popcorn I absolutely love this popcorn. It tastes really really good. And it's only 35 calories per cup And I found these little individual bags. So in this whole bag there is only Let's see 90 calories. I don't know if my camera is focusing on that, but um, there's 90 calories in the whole bag, 4.5 grams of fat and only 11 grams of carbohydrates, which is actually really low for popcorn. Um, so I love this. It tastes really, really good. So I love to have this as a snack and I like that it's pre-portioned so I don't have to worry about doing it. You can get like big bags of this, but then I just find like it's easy to overeat. 
um, you know, if you have the big bag because it is so good. So I love these and then I'm pairing that with some pink lemonade that I have right here. I try and drink as much water as possible, but sometimes you just don't want water. So today I'm having some pink lemonade and it is from this brand Wires Light. It's completely sugar free and there's only five calories per serving. It comes with like little packets. Um, let me show you guys. And they're actually pretty big packets and they make a full um, like big one liter pitcher. So I made a full um, liter pitcher of it and then um, you know just poured some in my glass but this is really really good it tastes really great um, I love it because I love crystal light because they're also very low in calories but I find crystal light is very high in sodium so I actually tried this one because this was much lower in sodium there's only 15 mg I don't know what that stands for <laughs> um, of sodium in this so per serving and crystal light was much much higher so I decided to give this a try and it tastes just as good so I absolutely love this all right guys, so now we are moving on to lunch and today I'm kind of being lazy and I'm just having this Dannon's Light and Fit Greek Blueberry Yogurt. I love this, there's 12 grams of protein and only 80 calories in it and it tastes really, really good. It's like blueberry, or it's actually I think normal flavored yogurt, like vanilla and then it has um, like some blueberries on the bottom so I really enjoy this, I think it's really, really good. Um, normally for lunch I like to make like egg whites or something like that with some fresh vegetables but today is Sunday um, which is the day that I actually go to the food store so I don't have any fresh vegetables um, on Sundays normally because it's the end of the week. So I'm just going to have this today for my lunch and pair that with a big glass of water. Okay guys, so this is my dinner. I'm having this ham steak right here. This is from the brand Hatfield, I do believe. Um, and I really love these. They're really, really good and a nice kind of change from chicken, which is what I typically eat. They only have about three grams of fat for the whole ham steak and I believe 28 grams of protein and two grams of carbs. So love that. And then I'm just having a piece of corn on the cob, which I love in the summer in New Jersey. They are so good. And then, so I'm having that myself. And then for some sides that I'm gonna be sharing with my parents, this is a tomato salad. So this is basically just cut up tomatoes with garlic and then seasoning. Like I think it has, um, it has like actual chopped garlic in it and then salt and pepper, oregano, a couple other things like that in there. And then I also have some roasted asparagus over here, which again, just have some seasonings on them, salt, pepper, and garlic powder, I do believe. Um, there's no oil or anything on them, just that. So yeah, that is what I'm gonna be having for dinner. All right guys, so for my last meal of the day for dessert, I'm gonna be having this Skinny Cow Blissful Truffle Candy Bar. This is the dark chocolate one and I love this. I literally look forward to this like every night. I always like to have something a little sweet before I go to bed to kind of end the day and I love Skinny Cow because they make like a bunch of different candies and stuff like that that are low calorie. So this whole bar, which is literally delicious, is taste delicious. You guys can tell I'm excited, I can't even speak. But it is chased just like the Lindt truffle balls. Like it's just so good and it's 130 calories, eight grams of fat and I believe 11 grams of carbs. Yeah, 11 grams of carbs. So that's really not bad for chocolate at all. It is a little bit healthier since it's dark chocolate. At least I like to tell myself that but I actually like dark chocolate better than milk chocolate anyways. So yeah, this is the last thing that I'm going to be having today and I'm gonna to be having this with a big glass of water. I actually probably am gonna have a whole bottle of water um, with this. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed what I eat in a day and give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you guys want me to do these videos more frequently because I do eat like a bunch of different stuff. It's not like I always eat the same thing. So I could do more of these videos if you guys did enjoy them. So just let me know down below in the comments. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.